at Talking with Top Don. Today we're going to do a quick video showing you how to use auto auth on Chrysler or Stellantis vehicles and what you need in order to be set up properly so you can unlock the secure gateway and work on your vehicle. Let's get started. All right, so we're just going to give you a quick rundown here. In order to use auto auth with Stellantis or Nissan, you need to make sure that you have a current subscription with your top scan itself. You have to have a subscription with auto auth and you also have to have a subscription with the vehicle manufacturer through auto auth these are all requirements set forth by the vehicle manufacturer not by top don so we're going to go in and check our subscription for the top scan first you can see our dates here for the software are still out in the future we're in 2025 so our subscription for the top scan is current then we're going to take you into auto auth and show you that our serial number is valid and active. So we'll go over there. So now we go into autoauth.com and you can see here I have my top scan serial number listed right here, this 450. So you have to make sure your serial number is entered in auto auth on the portal. And then you also have to make sure that your auto auth yearly subscription and your vehicle manufacturer subscription are current. So let's show you that. So here on the auto auth site, if you look over here, here's the tab. We are in the shop profile information. Here, you can see I have the current subscription for standard, and then I have paid the vehicle manufacturer fees for Nissan and Stellantis, Fiat, Chrysler, uh, Alfa Romeo. So, currently, I can now use my top scan with these two. Nissan should be live any time now. Uh, we're right at the beginning of September, and it will be supported any time now. Stellantis is already supported, which is what we're going to show you today. Okay, so now we're back inside the Top Scan app. We're working on a 2024 Dodge Ram. We're going to go in here, find the Dodge software in the diagnostic section. Going to click on the Dodge software. And once we do that, then we will be able to ID the vehicle. So again, instead of doing automatic ID, we're going to use manual ID. And this is a 2024. So we're going to select the vehicle. This is a 1500 Ram. And once we've selected it, we'll go down here and hit confirm. And now it's going to ask us about unlocking the secure gateway. So we're going to click yes. And you can see here it's going to ask me to log in. So this is the point where I'm going to enter in my password. You also notice here's the serial number for my top scan. And we have to make sure that that matches the information we've entered in the auto auth portal. Now it's also really important that we pay attention here. There is a drop down for auto auth and we have a North American, a European, or an other region, and we need to make sure that if we're in the North American region, that we have the North American region selected before we proceed into the login process. So that's what we've got selected. Our serial number matches the top scan. We've checked to make sure our subscription for the top scan is current, as well as our auto auth subscription, and our vehicle manufacturer subscription in auto auth is current. So now we can hit confirm and we should be able to unlock the gateway. And you can see here, it was successfully unlocked. So now we can go ahead and proceed with diagnostics if we wanna scan, or if we wanna go in and talk to a specific module and perform some kind of function, like a bi-directional control, we have access to all the systems on the vehicle that the vehicle is equipped with, and the secure gateway will not prevent us from doing anything now that we have properly unlocked it using auto off. All right, let's just do one quick recap on the different things you have to make sure you do in order to use your top scan with auto auth. Number one, make sure your top scan is registered, activated, and has a current subscription. Number two, make sure that your serial number for your top scan has been registered on the auto auth portal. Number three, make sure that you have paid the annual fee to auto auth. Number four, make sure you have paid the annual vehicle manufacturer fee in the auto auth website. Number five, make sure that when you are accessing auto auth on your top scan, that you are using the correct region, North America, European, or other for your specific region before attempting to log in and unlock the gateway. Once you have satisfied all of these criteria, Make sure that if you are trying an auto VIN on your vehicle and it fails, you make sure to try manually building the vehicle. In many cases, that will resolve connection or unlocking issues. And of course, if not, 
Feel free to reach out to Top Don in your specific region for support. And as always, thanks again for taking the time to watch our video. We'll see you next time.